What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now, last time we left off, we finally accepted- Oh man, yeah, my inventory's full, I can't do farming over here right now, I need to empty it out. But yeah, last episode, we finally accepted that community cleanup, and speaking of cleanup, boom, let's start cleaning up our inventory of all of this trash, right? Uh, we do have a lot of copper bars right there, I don't want to put those up. Uh, but yeah, we accepted the community cleanup mission for Linus, we started to get a little bit of trash, I think, what do we have, six pieces right now that we've gotten? Yeah, we went fishing last episode, we got six pieces of trash. We need to now donate that trash in the recycling bin behind the train platform. I don't remember that, like, I'm like, I've only been there a couple of times, right? So I suppose once we actually do have 20 pieces of trash, uh, we'll, we'll take them all over there and hopefully that's going to be good to go, right? And uh, I, I, I don't know, do we have any of that in my inventory right now? I know we have the soggy newspaper there, broken CD, I don't know if those count. I think that two driftwood, that might have been one as well. Uh, but yeah, I also got comments of you guys suggesting, hey, if you want to get a bunch of trash, you definitely want to go to your, uh, your your farm over here and try and actually fish inside there and you get a bunch of trash out of that. So I suppose we could try that out. I don't know where to put like 90% of the stuff, by the way. I guess if anything, we could put the bone or uh, the bomb up inside of there. We also have stone. I guess if we put that up inside there as well and then wood. I, I do want to clean out uh, a lot of uh, area here just a bit. So we're going to get a lot more wood uh, as well as... Uh, oh yeah, if anything, I could uh, start harvesting the crops right now. But I do want to actually clean up a little bit over here, as well as use some of that stone to make pathways to go from, like, basically here, and then connecting all the way down to Marty's Ranch. And then I guess we do the same thing from here, and connect it up to this, like, top entrance over here as well, just to make it a little bit more organized. And maybe if we have a lot of wood, we can make wood fences and stuff, so that'd be pretty cool too. Uh, I don't, like, at the end of our uh, last episode, like towards the end of the day, we didn't have any time to sell anything. So I suppose we could sell some stuff. I don't know if anchovy, I don't know if that needs to be uh in the community center. I don't think we checked. Yeah, we have two apple core there and then anchovy. I guess we could save that, maybe give it to Willie, see if he likes that or just keep it in case anyone ever wants randomly just some fish, right? So I suppose we could keep those. Uh, the copper bars, I believe we need tappers or uh, we're, we're going to be using that to make the tappers to put on the tree. Yeah, so yeah, we need more wood there, 40 wood right there. So definitely want to cut down a bunch of trees here just a bit, I suppose. Seaweed will get rid of that. Joji Cola, it's all right, but like it's not crazy good or anything like that, right? I guess I'll sell it. Well, it's trash, but like people don't like getting gift trash, right? Well, I did give someone trash bread once, but uh, I don't know. I'll sell it anyways. Just get a little bit of inventory space. Pretty sure that other stuff there in my inventory, like the driftwood, pretty sure that's considered trash. I think we fished for it last episode and the number went up afterwards. So definitely want to keep that in my inventory. Let's put this new uh, thing up over here, Aranite. We got that from, uh, I think, a geode or something like that, like an Omni geode or something. So I suppose we could uh, keep that inside there. And then these fish here, I guess I guess if we could put them up inside of here, at least for right now. I don't know where else we'd put it, though. So there we go. And then we still have blackberries there and wild plums and then common mushrooms. Definitely want to try and find a hazelnut. That way we're able to actually donate to the uh, to the museum. Or not to the museum, but to the uh, community center. And apparently when we do donate all the fall crops to the community center, we'll actually get, and by the way, harvesting all the uh, eggplants over here, which is great. Uh, we'll actually get 30 seeds instead of the 10 that you get from uh, crafting it in your inventory. You get 30 seeds. So that sounds amazing. Uh, let's put all the crops up over there. Bok choy. I guess that's extra. We can just put that up. And then uh, I definitely want to get the watering can. It's 8 a.m. Ah, not too, not too much time has passed. Oh, yeah. Uh, last episode, the chickens. Uh, oh, yeah. Remember last episode, we also uh, I pointed out this cool trick that someone left in the comments. Watering a, a 9 by 9 or a jeez, I wish <laughs> a 3 by 3 area of nine uh, separate things. By just standing in one spot, that is amazing. Apparently, I did miss a, uh, a row of corn somewhere, but I'm like, remember, we uh, we actually got a level up for farming last episode, so now we're actually able to make those upgrade. Oh, whoops, I didn't hold it long enough. Uh, but now we're actually able to get those upgraded sprinklers, so I shouldn't have to worry about it too much uh, in terms of watering stuff. But, of course, those are a little bit expensive. I did see that, uh, what was it, refined quartz was one of the recipes that, uh, or was one of the things that you need for the recipe. And I was like, oh man, how do you get refined quartz? Uh, but you guys said, yeah, all you have to do is just smelt quartz and then boom, you get refined quartz, which makes sense. Uh, definitely want to water that and then do this strip right here. And then we could fill up right here. And I guess we could start fishing over here uh, once I'm done watering all the crops. But uh, this should be a little bit easier than I thought making those uh, those quality crops. Uh, whoops. Man, what the, why am I not looking? There we go. Golly, I guess I wasn't holding the up button long enough. I forget what these things are right here, but apparently they're pretty good. Like the berry for fall. That seems like it's going to be a really good crop, you guys. You're going to get a lot of money out of that. And I think... I can't tell because these like berry bushes right here are like so huge. Okay, yeah, those weren't water right there. You can just barely see when they get watered there, though. But uh, we have a lot of corn over here we need to get watered as well. Some of it's already being watered. Oh, there's something dead right there, though. Man, how is there something dead around the sprinkler? That's what I want to know. What? 
Kind of surprised by that. But uh, get all the corn around here. We should get more farming XP from doing this as well. I do want to go check up on the chickens too, because at the end of last episode, we saw that the chickens were adults now, which is amazing. Oh, yeah. And we have some foraging over here. Guess I can uh, stand here. And I can water all the crops and stuff for that one there to the right. Oh, whoops. I moved anyways. <laughs> I need, to, I need I need to literally listen to myself talking over here. Golly, did I miss anything over here? Because I know I got comments saying I missed some corn or something last episode, and I would not be surprised if I missed it again, but there you go. That seems like that's pretty good, right? So, uh, oh, speaking of corn, boom, there you go. Put that up. I guess we'll put up the other uh, gold star crops in case we need that for quality crops bundle, or just selling them to get money like we did a couple episodes ago, right? So there we go, and then common mushroom. Yeah, I definitely want to go get the uh, the mushrooms over at the, at the mushroom cave over there. We're making preserves. I think that's a hot pepper we put inside there. And because it is day and it's not uh, rainy anymore, I guess we could open up that. We'll let our chickens roam around. As you can see, we do have adult chickens now. One egg, or uh, one white egg. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it says, okay. Even though we got two different eggs, like one white and one uh, brown there. How do I? There you go. It still said like two eggs there, two white eggs on the left side. So I got confused there for a second. But anyways, let's hug these guys, give them some love. And uh, yeah, the hopper's empty. Yeah, we emptied it yesterday. I don't know, how do you make mayonnaise? Do you just right click this with an egg or what? Because I know the eggs need to go into the community center, right? Wait, didn't they? Or did you need like a lot of them? Because I know we were looking at it not too, probably like last episode or something of that. Fish tank, boiler room, vault, bolt to board. It was probably bolt and board for the, uh, whoever the farmer was, fodder? No. It was something. Oh yeah, then we need to put the purple mushroom there. Oh wow, there, yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. Chef's bundle, what was it? Pantry, it might have been... Fall crops, animal bundle, that's it. Oh, it's a large egg. I guess we just have a regular egg, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we just had, yeah, regular white chicken egg. Okay, so if we have a large white and a large brown egg, that's going to be great. We can go give that community center. But I guess because these are regular ones, we can put it in the uh, mayonnaise machine. And I guess, I don't know how long that takes, but uh, eat egg, no. Oh, oh, how good are the eggs? Are they actually decent? Uh, they're all right. 25 energy and 11 health. I think it'd make more sense just kind of keep that right. So I guess I'll put the eggs up inside there. Then make sure these guys can still eat. Put some hay over here, because if we have two chickens, I think we need to put two things there. So there we go. And I think we're good to go, you guys. Don't want to fill that up with four, or else we can't use the hopper anymore. And I definitely want to use that hopper this episode, because I'm going to be cleaning out a lot. Oh, look at that. The, the door's open, so the chickens are roaming around. Nice. Cool. So I, I, I read comments saying that apparently letting them roam around during the day. Oh, nice. Another purple mushroom. Uh, letting them roam around during the day. Man, don't eat the purple. Golly. Letting them roam around during the day makes them uh, a little bit happier, so that's going to be good. I guess that's what those hearts are by the uh, the chickens. If I right click them, right, uh, we'll see like what our relationship rating. Oh wow, look at that brown chicken blends in so well. Yeah, there's five hearts right there. We don't have any. Uh, uh there, there we go. <laughs> Memers looks really happy today. I don't know what it was just a second ago. If it's uh, any better than what it was uh, just a bit ago, but uh, there we go. Uh, we need to go give the community center this purple mushroom. So let's definitely keep that as well as I guess we can go to the train tracks and just donate whatever we have right now. And then, oh yeah, there's another purple mushroom there. And then just generally go forage, I suppose, right? Let's get the sickle, or the scythe. Let's grab that. I guess we can start clearing out some land. Maybe grab some uh, some of those stone paths, like I said, just a minute ago. I guess we can do that real quick, too. I don't know if there's any birthdays or anything like that today that I need to kind of watch out for. I guess we can go look at the bulletin board just to see. And speaking of bulletin board, remember that community cleanup mission. You can only do that for, I think, two more days. Saturday, Sunday, I think it resets on Monday, you guys said. Let's look up here to see if we have any foraging. Uh, like, like, specifically, was it not walnut, hazelnut? Uh, it's going to be really hard to see that. I said this last episode, trying to find hazelnuts with everything being basically orange and brown and stuff. You can't see that at all. But I do want to go check up on the bulletin board over here. Just to see, or the, uh, the calendar by the bulletin board. There is a mission on the bulletin board, though. I guess we look at it, and there's Shane there. Trying to keep the Ardo fishing alive. Uh, two albacore, hey! Don't we have two albacore? I think so. We just put them up, didn't we? Or was it two anchovy or something? Oh, wow. Nice. Okay. No, we don't have to worry about birthdays for a few episodes till Jody's next Thursday. That's great stuff there, you guys. So anyways, Shane right there. I do want to go put the purple mushroom up before I forget about it, as well as keep going around here. See if I can find a hazelnut or walnut. Oh, I had it right right there. Walnuts. Or no, it is hazelnut. I'm confusing myself over here, golly! I guess we talked to Haley. We never casually talked to her except for roasting her and stuff. It's too cold to go uh, to the beach anymore. Huh, what do you think I should do today? Watercolor painting, relax, and read a magazine. Stop being selfish. <laughs> Stop being a selfish crybaby. Yeah, let's do that because we're savages. Get away from me, you stupid jerk. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot to do people's voices and stuff. I'm not going to be able to keep up with that. I I'll just say it right now. 
things to always oh, yeah see like for long things like this and I even got comments saying it kind of got annoying sounding like Mickey Mouse and stuff like that uh, saying to rather just do my normal voice so I guess we'll just keep bringing things with the normal voice it makes it a lot easier for me and you guys too so it's always good uh, things changed a lot after the Jojo Mart went up it's been really bad for Pierre's shop mom loves Jojo Mart though the prices are cheap so she could afford a lot more than she could sure she ever could at Pierre's yeah we always see Pam over there right buying alcohol seemingly <laughs> Like, what else would she be buying over there, right? Golly. Still not seeing any uh, hazelnuts around here, though. Man, isn't hazelnut the, uh, what Nutella's made out of? Or am I thinking about something else? I don't know. That just kind of popped in my head right there. I'm not seeing anything over here, though. Might need to put that up on the screen just because <laughs> my random curiosity is probably getting you guys' curiosity going as well. But I do want to go put up the, uh, where was it? It was here at the Bolton board, I believe, right? We put up the purple mushroom. And then, uh, oh, wow. There's like some weird wind going on in the background, by the way. Like, we're inside, but I can hear wind. It's kind of crazy. Was it uh, field research? Yes, purple mushroom there. And wasn't there one that wanted moral, or was it the chanterelle mushroom? Something like that? We don't have them right now. If it was, we already donated, which is good. Uh, and then I do want to go to the uh, to the train station here in just a bit. Just to donate whatever we have, and just to see uh, if we could find any more at our base. And thankfully, as we saw from the bulletin board just a minute ago, let's talk to... Uh, Whatever your name was, Maru. <laughs> All these falling leaves will provide food for mushrooms and other small organisms. Ah, that's pretty smart. Speaking of uh, food for mushrooms, I just picked a bunch of mushrooms thanks to your dad, Demetrius. Planting them in my uh, my cave. I never actually seen him over there studying the the mushrooms. Hey, a plum. Okay. I don't know if I missed any hazelnuts just a minute ago because I was distracted by Maru and talking about mushrooms and stuff like that. <laughs> Man, oh, let's just go around here. We don't need to go inside their house. Let's just go around here see if we can find anything. And by the way. Kind of sucks that we're not seeing any, uh, oh, there's Demetrius right there, speaking of such. Let's see, perhaps the nitrogen fixation level was affected by the nematode secretions. Oh, sorry, I was pondering some data and I didn't notice you there. <laughs> oh, it's like he's, he's bragging, using big words and stuff of that to show off how smart he is. Let's go up here, though. Oh, I'm looking for hazelnuts and stuff of that or whatever they're called, and I'm not even looking for worms. I probably passed over so many I could worms over here. Man. All right, whatever, let's go up here to the train station anyways. Just to see if there's any worms, any hazelnuts. I don't even know if we can find them up here. Seems like a pretty random area to find them at. Oh, yeah, didn't we cut down trees here? I think we did. Yeah, these trees must have grown back then. That's good. So where was it? It was behind? Is that what... Oh, is that what that is? That little... No, that's not what that symbol is, right? I'm like... Yeah, it still, still has question marks. It said behind the tree. Oh, is... Oh, oh, no, that's it right there. What is this then? I don't know, but hey, there we go. Let's put... It's a Jojo Net 2.0. Oh, I never even read the description for the broken CD. Jojo Net 2.0 trial CD. They must have made a billion of these. Yeah, must have been like the AOL of this universe. Huh? Uh, and I don't know if you guys ever saw like people. People used to get like CDs in the mail for AOL, like trial for Internet. And the, you get so much of it in the mail that people would like put it on the wall as like decoration. It, it looked like people's walls would look like disco walls and stuff. It's crazy. Uh, anyways, let's put these up. There you go, and there you go. So that confirms broken CD, soggy newspaper, and driftwood do count as trash. That's only five, though. We're missing one, though. I don't know what it was. I might have put them up or something. Did that actually count, though? Is that, uh... Yeah, so, okay, that's five. That's good. And then get the albacore. Okay. Let's remember, let's go get the albacore, because I believe we have that. Oh, it, what in the world? Linus is up here. I think he's the only person I've ever seen up here. I'm happy by myself, you know? Well, that's good. It's always good to be, uh, to love yourself there, right, Linus? Especially in your situation and whatnot. But let's go over here see if we can find any hazelnuts on the way back home. Ugh, I'm not seeing any. It, it is. I keep saying it, it's so tough to try and see. Brown on orange, essentially, right? And I'm not seeing any of it. I guess if anything, we could have... Yeah, I was already at the... I forgot the donate to community center. We could have given them the brown mushroom, the uh, plum, and the, uh, the blackberry. We could have given that to them while we are already there, but whatever. Not too big of a deal, I suppose. But I do want to go grab the albacore, I believe... Oh, yeah. Whatever his name is. Willie. He's closed now, right? Yeah, 5 p.m. But I think I think you can still see him in the uh, in the saloon. So I guess we'll go over there if uh, if we want to go give him the two two albacore or two al but which one is it? One of them is a bird. One of them is a fish. I don't know what it is. <laughs> we need to give him the fish one, though. Anyways, weather report. We didn't check it earlier. So, uh, hey, beautiful and sunny day tomorrow. Perfect stuff. Oh, do not pick up the TV. <laughs> Fortune teller, what do we have? Uh, oh, okay, spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck is not- Hey, is, isn't that a good thing, though? If spirits are annoyed with me- Oh, perfect, we have two of them. If spirits are annoyed with me, doesn't that make it more likely that I'll pick up trash in the heckin' fishing stuff? I think so, right? Speaking of such, I do want to myth bust that. 
because people said uh, you could actually get a lot of trash from your actual farm over here. Now we have this right here. We also have a small or a. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, broken. Did that count? It did. Okay, seven out of twenty right there. Awesome, great, great progress right there, you guys. And I believe uh, Willie's going to be over at the bar or the saloon or whatever for quite a while, so I don't think it's really too big of a deal. And I think it doesn't this mission. Oh, what? Why? Well, I accidentally just picked up the side newspaper right there, but that that definitely counted. Uh, oh, yep, eight. Whoops, I was the wrong thing. Yeah, see, we still have a couple days to give him the... We don't have to give it to him right now, but... Kind of want to give it to him as soon as possible, so I'll forget, right? <laughs> but let me keep fishing over here. Seems like we're getting pretty much nothing but literal tra... Oh! Okay, literal trash, and then also literally nothing. <laughs> so, keep on getting newspapers and, uh, soggy, news soggy newspapers, literal trash. We haven't gotten actual straight-up trash, have we? I don't think so. I don't know if we could actually donate the trash we already have. Oh, hey, a driftwood, that counts. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty repetitive right here, so let me continue getting a bunch of literal trash from my- Oh, nice, another one. From my, uh, farm over here. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys here in just a sec, and we can probably go to the saloon, give Willy, uh, the two Albert core, and then when we come back, I guess we can start, uh, clearing out the area over here and making some, uh, some pathways for our farm. Make sure it doesn't get overgrown by all the weeds and stuff like that, right? So, let me continue getting some trash from this ocean, or, <laughs> with this little pond right here, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. I guess back. I just got the ding sound indicating that I, I actually got all the stuff for the community clean, community cleanup, which is good. And I believe that should be it right there. I wanted to get an extra one just for the uh, for donating because we had six of them already for the uh, for catching all the heck and trash. And then uh, we only had five of them for actually donating. So I, I kind of want to have an extra one right there. But either way, uh, was there something else I was going to do here? Uh, I guess if anything, we could put up that. And I think that's it. Uh, but yeah, we, I got a bunch of broken glasses, some actual literal trash. Uh, I guess we could just go over here. We already foraged and stuff with that, but I guess we can go over here and go to the saloon real quick. Go give uh, the albacore to Willie. I think he should still be there. I'm like, it is Saturday, so he should still be hanging out pretty late over there, obviously, right? And then uh, I guess we can go up to the community center, just donate the wild, uh, the plums, the, the blackberries, and the common mushroom if we haven't already. What in the world? Wait, where is he? Leo or whoever was blocking the pathway. Right okay, there you go. That's Clint. Wait, where is he? He's back home already? Or I me, mean, he might be like on the way home or something. I don't know. Man. Ah, oh, it's getting late. I know, I know. Probably need to head home, but uh, whatever. It's, it's, it's pretty heckin' late right now. Probably shouldn't be going down there. Like I said, we do have like two days and oh gosh, Pam and Clint now going golly. We do have like two days to actually go give them the two apple cores, so it's not that big of a deal. But do we have enough time to go over here to the community center to donate the stuff, to also donate the trash? I don't know. We might be able to at least go to the community center here. I don't know if we'd be able to do the other stuff, though, but uh, let's see. I think foraging is that down here. I don't remember. Is it foraging? I think it is. No, is it? It is. OK, good. <laughs> Jeez. OK, we, we put the plum there. All right. So there you go. We still need to get the hazelnut. OK, that's that's what that looks like. I love that. We could check that real quick. But uh, yeah, OK, so we have some uh, extra plums over here. I guess we could just go put those up inside the rare stuff chest. Oh, gosh, 1250 right now. Every heckin' night, <laughs> every heckin' night is us racing against the clock, trying to go home before we pass out. Oh, whoops, I thought that was way back down. But at least we're a lot closer right now. We're probably going to get home at like 1.30 or 1.40 or something like that, which is better than literally 1.50. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, every single night. But definitely tomorrow, definitely want to make those uh, pathways, cut down a bunch of trees, cut down uh, a bunch of weeds and stuff like that, get a bunch of hay out of that. And wow, look at how bright this is over here. And look at that, we have, uh, like, pepper preserve. What is that? Hot pepper jelly, what? You make jelly out of hot peppers? Didn't think you would be able to do that. Isn't jelly made out of juice? And jam is made out of actually like ground up like fruit or something like that? So how do you have pepper jelly? I don't know, I'm confused. Or maybe I'm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm misthinking or something like that. <laughs> Anyways, level four fishing right there. Fishing rod proficiency went up and we got a new thing called the recycling machine, you guys. That's the thing you guys have been talking about. For the longest time, the recycling machine, once I get that, hold on, I want to see how expensive that is. Apparently, we can put literal trash in there, all the broken CDs, all the, literally everything else, and, like, get actual stuff out of it? Like, are we going to get base materials out of it? Like, maybe we'll get, like, I don't know, quartz out of broken glasses. Maybe we'll get, pff, I don't know. What do we, we get out? So you need, what, maybe wood out of driftwood? I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking out here, theorizing stuff like that out loud. Uh, but we can make, well, I guess if anything, we could make the stone, the fences out of stone, but I kind of want to make them out of wood. They look a little bit better, right? Oh, yeah, and then we could transmute out of the copper. I do not want to do that. Where's the stone path? Oh, there it is right there. Stone pathway, cobblestone pathway. Kind of want to do that. Wearing. I guess if we do that, and then 
Let's see. Let's get 20. Let's do all it. Sure. There you go. 45. Let's do all 49. There you go. 49 cobblestone paths. That's good. Now, where's that recycling machine at? There it is right there. Oh, man. Wait. I probably could have been able to do that right there, man. But we, we're missing iron, right? No, we have plenty of iron. What? Uh, I guess if anything, we can get some iron going just because we have so much of it. Definitely want to go uh, smelt that, you guys. Golly. Uh, man, I want to go inside. I want to go put up the rare, rare plums up inside here. Gold star, silver star plums. <laughs> Forgot to do that. There you go. And then we have the hot pepper jelly. I forgot what we did that did with that last time. I think we put that in the forging chest, didn't we? So let's go do that. Make sure we don't uh, forget where that is. Uh, yeah, we have spice berry jelly right there. So we should be getting some great money out of that, you guys. Uh, so let's actually get... What do we want to put over there? What is a valuable thing? That we get? I don't know. Blue Blueberry jelly. That sounds pretty delicious, you guys. Let's get that going over here. And hey, there are our, there are chickens right there. There's one right there. I, I want to pet them every single day. Just, so, just to show them some love. Make them a lot happier. Now... Okay, it's still no stars right there, or no hearts, so I assume maybe after a while they'll, they'll start adding up and actually getting... And by the way... Oh, wait, look at that, we got mayonnaise as well. Hey! Okay, so it looks like mayonnaise gets made a lot faster than uh, the jelly and jam and whatever else over there, and pickled vegetables and stuff like that, so that's good to know. I guess if we put that up over here as well, or I, I guess I could have put it in that egg chest over there, but whatever, I'll keep everything in like one spot, <laughs> just to make it a little bit easier on us. But I need to water everything over here. We have a lot of eggplants. And there you go, copper watering can. And I definitely want to go talk to Willie, go see what he thinks about the two albatross that we have. Or albacore? Golly. I don't know, maybe we can catch an al albatross as well. Maybe we can catch birds, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if they're in the game. Aren't they like some seabird or something like that? Like some ocean flying bird? Because I remember a story about like an albatross something. I forgot what it was. It was like a while ago when I read something about that. It might have been in school or something like that. Maybe you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know. <laughs> Either way. Let's start watering all the crops over here. Uh, let's water all the tech and crops from one spot right here. Yeah, definitely want to do that. Get all the eggplant. Yeah, no corn over there looks ready, so I think we should just get all that eggplant, and that should be it. And uh, we didn't get a level up right there for farming, unfortunately. Definitely want to try and actually get uh, some progress on that, though, because I believe we're actually able to make the, at least one more quality sprinkler. We have a decent amount of uh, iron. We have copper as well. I think you just needed the, uh, the refined quartz, and I was kind of like, oh man, how do you get that? But no, you literally just smelt quartz and then boom. Oh, speaking of smelting, I, oh, I forgot to put the iron over here. I wanted to do it. Yeah, because this takes a long time. Yeah, there you go. Get that going. And is anything over here unwatered? I'm like, that's right next to a sprinkler, so you think that'd be water. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that one's not, though. That one's that one's watered. It's just eggplants. I think we're good to go there. Okay, cool. And then, of course, we have the foraging items there to the right. Definitely don't want to forget about those. It is the uh, seventh. Hey, it's the end of the first week of the month, you guys. So we're actually uh, pretty, pretty. <laughs> I'd say decently far into the month. We're missing out on a little bit of like forging stuff. Like if I if I got like those seeds and stuff of like that earlier, we probably would have been getting a lot more money out of the forging stuff. But I don't know. We're we're just having so much trouble finding hazelnuts. We can't get all the heckin' seeds from the foraging bundle over there, man. Oh yeah, we can't do it from the side. We can only do it from the top down. Which, by the way, those are already watered. What am I doing? I'm trying to do the strategy, even though I don't need to. I'm wasting my time. I'm probably missing, uh, wasting my water as well. I think that's good there. Oh, wait. The crop right there I missed out on. Oh, is that? Oh, there's an eggplant hiding right there. I got it, though. Awesome. Okay, so let's fill that back up and uh, put it back over here. And I guess we can get those paths going, huh? So put that there. And oh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of eggplants. Golly. We have a few gold as well. Not bad. So let's go put that up. It's almost 10 a.m. Not bad timing. Could be worse. Let's check up on the TV as well. Hey, Queen of Sauce as well. Let's see what this is. Clear and sunny all day tomorrow as well. It is today. That's great. And the spirits are very happy today. They'll do your best to shower everyone with good fortune. That's amazing. What do we take advantage of that with? I guess going through trash and stuff. Maybe. Greetings. It is I, the Queen of Sauce. Blah, blah, blah. Tortillas. How many of you are gnawing on a microwave convenience burrito while watching this program? Shame on you. You might as well wrap your beans in an old wash rag. <laughs> now, listen up. Once you've tried my fresh, rustic corn tortillas, you'll never go back. And I learned how to make corn tortillas. Or just tortillas in general. I don't know if there's... You can make corn ones and then also uh, flour ones in this. There's actually a difference there, but uh, either way. Let's go over here. I guess we'll go... Yeah, let's go check up on the mushrooms. And I guess we can start building the path. Probably, I guess, from right here. Then, uh, I guess we'll have to get rid of that torch there, which means... I'll do that. There you go. Oh, and look at that. The iron's, iron's done over there. Cool. Let's get this a-going. Just trying to build pathways. Just so we have an idea of... There you go. Of, of, of where to put stuff, you know? So, that's the case. So, we'll put that there. Then it goes down, right? 
Uh, I guess we could just go straight down, huh? Yeah. I guess if we make this go around, it could just kind of wrap around. Or uh, maybe we could put a fence there. I don't know. I'll get rid of it for right now, though. Sorry, we'll get the copper cobblestone paths back. And I guess we'll just go straight down, which means clearing it out using this. And I think I said, yeah, it makes more sense to just try and go through that while we're in the middle of all the heckin' like tall grass and stuff like that instead of oh whoops that's a hoe there we go <laughs> makes sense to go through all the weeds there when we're in the middle of it instead of swiping in front of us right i think it's a little bit more effective that way but uh, let's just go straight down here i think it should be pretty straightforward pun intended there we go I'm getting and of course we're getting a bunch of hay for the silo here which is great and we're getting some uh stone for the uh for more stone paths i don't know oh man yeah the pickaxe isn't strong enough there man i guess we'll have to make the path kind of wrap around this though let's do this there we go and that should be good. I guess we can just go to the edge over here. That's pretty cool. And then uh, it goes straight down, right? Let's actually make a... Because I have only 18 of them. Let's actually make this go straight up here. Just we have a... There we go. Awesome. Six more. Is this enough? Oh my gosh, that was exactly enough. That was amazing. If I didn't have enough, I'm like, I've, I've got a stone right there. <laughs> Not that big of a deal, right? But uh, let's at least clean out a couple trees here. Maybe I'll put uh, fences by the path as well. Just kind of clean out any trees that might be trying to grow next to it, too. And speaking of such, boom, getting all that. I think there's a lot of trees. Where was it? Well, there's a stump right here. I can get some hardwood out of that. Perfect. I think, right? Is that a stump? It is. Yeah, there you go. We got some hardwood right there. Perfect. Did we get the tree that was right here? I think we got it. The one that like kind of tipped over right here. I'm not really keeping too good of track of it. <laughs> but at least we're getting a bunch of wood. I guess we can get a lot of uh, stone down there as well, breaking uh, big rocks. But we can't break those just yet, unfortunately. I guess we'll have to break these smaller ones first. But we can break them at... Just one hit, thankfully, because we have the upgraded uh, uh, copper pickaxe, which is great. And I believe... And by the way, yeah, remember that one mission, that other mission? For community... Or instead of community cleanup, we could have done getting a thousand stone. That would have taken forever. I probably would have come down here and been like, Oh man, we can get so much stone from the big rocks, but we didn't have a good enough pickaxe to break this, unfortunately. Guess we'll need an iron one for that, huh? But uh, let's go down here. I have to go to Willy. Before he actually closes here in just a bit, I do want to get a decent amount of stone, just because I know we're going to need that. For either the tree tap or something else, I forget specifically, but at least we have this path over here. Oh yeah, we can make more paths right now, because we got a bunch of stone right there. I guess we could spend a few of them. It's not that big of a deal, right? So a couple stone paths. Let's get a few of those. 24, not bad. And there we go. My inventory is basically full right now anyway, so uh, let's uh, clean this out right here. And there we go. I guess this is this is going to be like a double entrance right here. So there we go. And it can kind of split off left and right, but right here, this is where it's going to split off to the right. Whoops. Yeah, you have to be pretty close to it. So there we go. Get rid of this. And there we go. Cool. And uh, I guess we can continue to place them right here at least. To kind of get a little bit of... Wait, I can't... Oh, I can't place it like right at that entrance. Okay, whatever. At least we have a little bit of a, a pathway right there. While we're in the area down here, time to look for any hazelnuts. Oh my gosh, I'm not seeing anything. Hey, there's Mayor Lewis right there. By the way, Mayor Lewis, uh, what were your shorts doing inside of uh, Marty's ranch over there? Her bedroom? Are you doing your best on the farm waffle? You'll have to accomplish things in many areas that you, if you want to become a well-rounded citizen. I'm like, I'm trying that. We're only, uh, what, like two or three seasons into the to the game right now, and I, I'd say I'm doing pretty well for myself, especially because people were in, in the comments are helping me out a ton there. Thank you very much, everyone, for all the very helpful comments down there. Every episode, I'm always like pointing out, oh man, this person said this, this person said that. And it's always like shaping the direction of the series, which is pretty cool. So thank you guys all very much for that. And I'm pretty sure Mayor Lewis will thank you as well. I'm only finding uh, common mushrooms over here, though. Not finding any uh, any any hazelnuts, which kind of sucks. It's 3.40 right now. Oh, and there's that. I guess we just casually talk to her real quick. Hmm, what should I do tonight? I was thinking about dyeing my hair again. Oh, I thought she was talking about something else. Golly. <laughs> oh, what do you think? Dye it black? Why not blonde? How about bubblegum pink? I like your hair just the way it is. You know, I kind of like it. But, uh, maybe, maybe we can go... Will we actually have any influence? Like, if I say pink, will, will she actually have pink tomorrow? If I say blonde and if I say black, will she actually change it? And if I did this one, would that be, like, friendship points right there? Being like, I like the hair, your hair just the way it is. I don't know. I kind of like her having purple hair. I don't think anyone else has purple hair. It's kind of unique. But then again, no one else has pink. There's like three or four people have blonde, right? Black. Uh, I think Sebastian's the only one there. I don't know. I, I think I'll do pink. How about bubblegum pink? There you go. You're always good for a laugh. Well, <laughs> man, I guess she's not going to change it then. Man, I thought that would have been so cool if like next episode we come back and I'd be, we, we come across Abigail again and she has pink hair. That would have been so cool. Uh, I guess I guess for that scenario, we should have been like, yeah, you're, I love your hair just the way it is. And 
should probably get like a one plus one friendship point right there, but uh, didn't say the right thing, I guess. Anyways, uh, we can go over here, go to Willy, go give him the albacore. Oh, a uh, blackberry right there. Not what I need, but I guess I'll grab it anyways. Never mind, my inventory's full. Okay, I guess we'll get rid of the fiber then. There we go. And pick that up. Boom. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we haven't owned. Oh, there's a Harvey right there. We haven't gone to the uh, to the ocean to go for. Oh, whoops. Wait, what? Oh, I gave him broken glasses right there. Man, oh, that was an accident. Oops. Oops. Man, yeah, we need to go to the community cleanup. We need to do that like before the end of the day, you guys. I accidentally clicked on him with a heckin' broken glasses right there when I just wanted to click on him just to talk to him casually. And let's go over here. Let's go talk to Willie before he closes. There he is. Okay. Whew. He closes at five and. There we go. Oh, yeah, he's literally leaving right now. If you purchase a high-quality fishing rod, you'll be able to attach bait and tackle to a line. Uh, bait causes fish to bite faster. Tackle can make your job a lot easier when reeling fish in. Ooh. Now, what about your mission, though? What about the alb albatross? Is that, no, that, 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 that's like, yeah, hold on. Hold on. Fishing. Yeah, Willy. You have to keep a, I get to keep a fish. 150 gold to any fisherman who catches. Oh, no, it doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't count because we had to catch him. Not. Yeah, just like the getting the copper ore and stuff like that. I'm probably getting comments and stuff. Golly, man. All right. Well, I, I guess we can go fishing real quick. Try and find one thing. We can go to do the community cleanup. Go, go donate all that before it's over with before it's too late. Right. And uh, it's like a two part thing. So uh, let's see. Oh, man, didn't catch anything right there, man. And we, we're getting pretty low on energy here as well. We need to watch out for that. You guys, golly. But let's. Uh, oh, yeah. Also need to check up on the oh hey oh an actual fish, but I don't think I have the inventory space for it right. Oh cute oh man I almost had a perfect right there. Ah ruined it and there you go okay. Whoa what is sea cucumber what? It's a silver star one too. Ah what am I getting rid of what am I getting rid of? I don't I I I would normally get rid of the trash and stuff but I guess torches. There you go okay let's get this you can see a cucumber. I guess we'll get that, and then I suppose we can, we, we really need to donate these things. Just kind of clean out my inventory. I've got a bunch of trash in my like, inventory. <laughs> I really need to get rid of them for the community uh, cleanup thing, which, by the way, because we got the first part done, is there is anything happen here? Yeah, we have one day left to continue that. Probably go to Linus to actually get our, uh, our, our, our reward for doing that, right? But we do have good luck today, so we should probably find good stuff in the trash cans, but inventory's full. Can't do anything, unfortunately. Man. Oh, hey, uh, whatever her name is. <laughs> oh, what in the, what are you doing? Man, I'm accidentally clicking and stuff over here. <laughs> Probably going to come across, a uh, what do you call it? Hazelnuts. <laughs> so I won't be able to pick them up because my inventory is like full. <laughs> well, let's go up here and go up to the train station, go to the recycling thing, and then, I don't know, might want to look into actually, uh, if we could actually make the recycle, not, not recyclatron, that's from Subnautica. The recycling machine or whatever it's called, right? I don't know if there's actually, uh, I didn't see any hazelnut there. Not seeing any worms either. And there's Linus again right there. I'm like, obviously, he's the one that wants us to do the recycling and stuff with like that, right? So, uh, put more inside there. There we go. Is that all of it? I think I'm missing, like, one item because I accidentally gave. Yeah, man. 710. I could probably still get that. There is an ocean or a, a lake to the right of us. I guess we can go over there real quick, try and get one literal piece of trash. I guess I'll eat a mushroom or something just to get a little bit of energy. Just to kind of fuel us for this fishing trick. <sighs> man. There's Demetrius down there. I'm looking for worms, looking for hazelnuts. I'm not seeing a thing come back on. Ah, whatever. Let's try and fish. Yep. There you go. And, oh yeah, I did get comments. Because I think in the last episode I said, and then, oh, man, I, uh, when I want an act, like, like, I want trash, I catch an actual fish. Are you kidding me? Yep. Hey, I got a perfect on this one, though. And it is a bullhead. 18 inch. Not a new record, though, so that's cool. Let's see. But yeah, you guys said, uh, or at least someone said to bring all the crab pots to the, uh, oh, there we go, perfect, to the, uh, to the farm, and I did that last episode, but, yeah, apparently you could have both fresh water and salt water crab pots, and you do get different things. I guess it just makes sense for us to keep, because I had one of them in the pond and one of them in a river or something like that. It, it only makes sense to grab those and keep them in, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the farm. Golly, I can't think of that. <laughs> but there we go. Hey, oh, and I got an achievement right there. What does that say? Gopher? I got an achievement called Gopher. I guess that's for doing a, uh, a special whatever you call it right here. But hey, boom. Community cleanup. I have an idea. There's a lot of tra Oh, yeah, I already did that. I don't have to read that again. 500 gold. And Linus is like literally right here. So I guess I could talk to him. And see if he wants to say anything special about me cleaning up the community. 
And then, of course, tomorrow we're going to have another uh, mission, right? I don't like to stay in one place for too long. That ah, makes sense. That's why you have a tent and all that kind of stuff, right? You have a bowl head. What do I want to give him? I don't give him a silver star thing here. What is his birthday, by the way? I don't know. This is a great gift. Thank you. Hey, that's good. I love that he loves the gifts. Kind of want to go home and continue forging, though. At least to that pathway that's kind of north of our base. And then while we're over there, we'll uh, try and find heckin' hazelnuts. If we find one, I'm going to the heckin' community center so we can get the heckin' the what do you call it the foraging seeds i'm like so preoccupied over here like looking for nuts and also trying to talk and stuff with like that like i can't pay attention to anything <laughs> i can't find them over here come on man uh, let's go over here to the not the community center the cave the community cave i guess you can call it because <laughs> both myself and demetrius are hanging out over here right he's doing like studies on the mushrooms and i'm over here selling the mushrooms and eating them and stuff <laughs> You probably don't want me to eat these mushrooms. Either way, uh, do the chickens, they should go, oh, and by the way, yeah, the iron over there is done too. Cool. Yep, the chickens are inside here. We have mayonnaise done again today. Awesome. I guess we can grab that and just put it inside here. I think it should. Uh, do they have food over there? They, they should. Let's actually put another egg right here. There you go. Yeah, they still have food and they're actually asleep right now, so that's cool. I can actually grab all the hay. Oh, whoops. Grab all the hay from this. Yes, okay, there you go. Oh, and it grabs two at a time as well, so it goes through at pretty quickly. So we got a little bit of hay from uh, cleaning out the area earlier. So we have 328 right there. I got comments saying to uh, get as much hay as possible to kind of stockpile that for the winter. So we have enough food for them for the winter. So definitely makes sense. Get rid of this uh, torch right here. Whoops. There, get rid of that torch. I'm going to have to replace down these torches, by the way. That I kind of got uh, that I kind of like broke and stuff. I guess I could place them up here. Yeah, because we need room for the uh, for the fences. Let's do this and break. Whoops. Break these. Actually grab that and that. And that, and then connect it up over here. I don't know if I placed these down over here, or if this was already here earlier. Did I place anything there? It must already have something then. Okay. Oh, you can actually place a torch on top of the path already. Okay, cool. So I don't have to worry about, uh, let's see. There we go. Cool. Uh, there's a lot of torches down here that, it, that are missing, because, of course, I uh, broke them to place down the path. But at least we have this now, so now we have an actual way to go from here all the way down there. And then we can do another path, maybe next episode, going from here to the chicken coop, and then to the that path, the north path, and then another one, uh, kind of kind of like tree limbs or like veins or something like that, going over here to the cave, you know, kind of kind of branching off, going all over the place. Definitely want to try and do that and kind of organize the area. Maybe even have a path going over here to the dog's area with the dog bowl. <laughs> Let's, uh, oh man, it's getting late. Golly, <laughs> I kind of want to go foraging just a little bit and nothing too crazy, but I just want to get, uh, try and find the hazelnut. I know we purposely didn't forage over here earlier on, did we? There's a plum there, I believe. <gasps> Hazelnut, you guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 1210. We gotta go to the community center. Thankfully, do we have enough time? Because I know the community center is like right here. It's 1230 right now. Um, it might be gotten it close. I don't know. And it's a gold star one too. Man, okay, whatever. At least we're gonna get seemingly assumingly 30 fall foraging seeds. I won't have enough time to plant them before the end of the day, unfortunately, right? So, uh, that'll kind of suck. 12.50 right now, man. Ah, I'm not going to be able to do it, am I? I'm like, maybe I can, just barely, but... Hazelnut, Bob Home, bundle completed! What are we going to get? Is that, is that person right? I think it was multiple people. Yep, they were right! Fall seeds got, uh, 30 of them. I almost said 40. <laughs> <laughs> but still better than the uh, the 10 that you get normally by crafting one of each of them together in your inventory. So that's good. We got 30 seeds right there. Amazing. We have plenty of time to go home, but not enough time to go uh, plant all these down. Even if we had a bunch of pre-tilled like, 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 like plots or whatever you want to describe it as. <laughs> still don't have enough time to spam down 30 seeds, unfortunately. So we're going to have to do that next episode. You know, if I don't want to pass out while I'm out here, right? So <sighs> anyways, guess we'll just, I don't know. I don't know how long this video is by the- Oh my gosh, look at that giant owl right there, golly. But I guess we'll go over here, go, go to bed, it's 1.30 right now, don't need, don't need to sell anything, right? Community center done with the sea cucumber, okay. Eggs and stuff. Have a core. you think it would want that, but I guess not, huh? And then we have a bowl head there, I don't know if anything wants that. Uh, we do have plenty of materials now, we should be able to make at least some taps or something like that, right? Because we have a lot of copper, we have a lot of stone, we have a lot of wood. Cut down a bunch of trees like- Ah, eh, we got- 38. I thought I had way more than that, but I guess not. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, we have mail today, actually. Ooh, I guess we can check that before I do the outro, right? Well, hey, 500 gold to mind if I do. It's from the mayor. Waffle, I heard that you've been giving people a hand around town. Everyone seems really thankful. I'm awarding you this month's best neighbor award with a small cash prize. 
500 gold. Keep it up. Oh, that, 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 that just makes me, that just warms your heart, doesn't it? Hi, Waffle. Thanks for helping me clean up around the valley. The waters are looking much cleaner. I think everyone will appreciate it. I know I will. As a way of saying thanks, I wanted to teach you how to grow your own fiber. Hopefully it's useful. Hope it's, I hope it's useful. Yeah, I'm putting words in people's mouths. From Linus, fiber seeds. Okay. Now, I believe the only way we've gotten fiber in the past. Oh, and we got a sea urchin randomly from Emily. <laughs> What is that little thing? Is that like a little emoji right there? Is he got like a little guy on a skateboard with sunglasses and he's smirking at us? What? Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're enjoying, or I hope you enjoy the gift I've sent you. Well, goodbye, Emily. You know what? I'm, I'm getting a feeling that Emily's, em, Emily kind of likes us, you guys. Hello, it's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full. Oh. Blackberries. Is this, this is just like salmon berries from spring, right? Didn't someone say you don't get anything in... Oh, I think, yeah, I think I said that during summer, right? Yeah, you don't get any, you can't get any more berries until fall. And I guess it starts in the second week of fall. And it just started with the eighth right now on Monday. Okay, cool. It's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. I want to pick some, but I lost my basket. Can you help? Yes, we can. Of course, we're going to be doing this next episode, you guys. But I am so curious now. I want to go check. And by the way, look at how much better it just looks right now with these pathways. Oh, and these are done too. Oh, I can't pick them in. <laughs> my inventory's full. Ah, all right. Well, at the beginning of next episode, we have a lot of things we need to do. Uh, at least we read all the mail right there. I, I probably won't read them again at the beginning of next episode, just because we have like four or five of them right there. But I do want to check up on the bushes over here. <gasps> yes, they are full of blackberries or wait, hold on. Blackberries. Is that the same thing that we just put in the community center for the uh, foraging fall foraging? I don't think so. Right. Whoops. Pantry. Craft room. Oh, I can't click on it. I think it's, it, it looks different. Like these look different on the ground. Uh, I, guess, I guess we can get rid of the egg right now. Blackberries, early fall treat, 2,500. I think those are the same ones you get from foraging, which is kind of weird. And there's another one right there. Yeah, wow. I'm like, it's purple that, that kind of, that's kind of on the orange and, and oh, whoa, a Linus. Okay, hold on, hey guys, hold on. We're going to do, we're going to do this next episode. A Linus cutscene. Uh, all this stuff is doesn't matter right now. The game saved when I went to sleep, so whenever I load in next episode, it, we're going to be able to experience all this stuff again. I probably shouldn't be <laughs> messing around too much in these uh, at, at the end of these episodes and getting too much of a sneak peek of next episode. But that's something to look forward to next episode, you guys. Let's go back home. Looks like Linus is over there chilling out in the newly cleaned waters because we just did the community cleanup mission right there. And I am curious. Yep, because it is Monday now. We do have new. Uh, special requests on the bulletin board, so I do want to go check that tomorrow. I've got a lot of things I need to write in my notes after I end this episode off, you guys. But right now, speaking of ending off the episode, I guess I'll do it right now. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as next episode a Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there.